Requirements is the spine of the project. It's what all the other disciplines actually spin around. Otto was a project in the late stages of delivery. A very short time scale. SEMP were asked to get involved and perform, first of all, a health check of the project. And eventually that moved on to full-scale engagement to deliver all the systems engineering and assurance at the whole railway level. The management of requirements, not just about the end state of that railway, but also the various migration steps was absolutely key, as was also managing the operational readiness of all the personnel involved in that whilst we were delivering a new product into service. SAMP was created about four years ago to address the inefficiencies and uh, lack of capability within major organisations for systems engineering, systems integration and systems assurance. We were involved in a new light rail project in Ottawa in Canada. We were asked to support the project in achieving compliance to their contract requirements and also in providing the safety case that enabled that project to go into revenue service. In order to do that, we required a requirements management tool to manage the project's requirements, of which there were 10,000. Because of the international nature of the project, we also required a tool that was cloud-based. Deployment of traditional tools can take at least six months, especially across multiple partners internationally. Where those tools rely on software installation our engineers are used to working with IBM's Classic Doors tool and we worked with Persistent to implement the new cloud-based tool which is Doors Next for requirements. Persistent enabled us to roll out IBM's ELM tool within two weeks. The IBM ELM tool also enables us to provide dashboards. Persistent also helped us introduce IBM's Test Manager which enables us to track the verification validation status against those requirements, enables us to demonstrate compliance to that contract. And that eventually led to the independent certifier for the light rail transit project, accepting compliance to those technical requirements. The benefits of using a cloud-based tool are that we require no IT infrastructure, enables us to focus on our core abilities of providing that systems engineering consultancy service, we don't have to worry about availability, backups. It's a very fast rollout. It can be accessed anywhere where there's an internet connection. There are those firms that can come along and tell you what's wrong. There are those that can come along and tell you what's wrong and strategize about how to make it better. There are very, very few that will actually do the heavy lift and get involved in the trenches and actually do the delivery with the clients. And we fall in that very latter category. So we actually know what it takes to do this not just theoretically, but actually in practice.